Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan Halsey, a pediatric plastic surgeon at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital and member of the Vascular Anomalies team. I work within a multidisciplinary team with pediatric hematology oncology and pediatric interventional radiology to assist in the care of children and infants with vascular anomalies. This includes venous malformations, capillary malformations, lymphatic malformations, along with vascular tumors of all types. A hemangioma is a benign vascular tumor that is commonly diagnosed in infants. They can be present at birth, known as a congenital hemangioma, or they can appear shortly after birth and are known as an infantile hemangioma. In most cases, they are asymptomatic outside of their obvious appearance, though in some cases they can bleed or cause skin irritation. Depending on the location, they can also cause visual or airway obstruction, which can be harmful and require more urgent treatment. Hemangiomas are often bright pink, red, or purple if superficial within the skin, though they can also involve deeper tissues. Congenital hemangiomas typically do not change after birth and they grow in proportion with the child. If noticeable, these are often either treated with laser or surgery by the time the child starts school. If not noticeable, or it does not bother the child, the hemangioma can be left alone. Infantile hemangiomas behave differently. These are not usually present at the time of birth, but exhibit rapid growth once they appear in the first few weeks of life. Their growth persists for around 12 to 15 months before finally plateauing. The hemangioma then undergoes a slow process of growing smaller and becoming less vascular and more fatty in appearance. There are medications that can be used in the first year of life to slow hem hemangioma progression. Following that time, infantile hemangiomas can be treated in the same manner with laser to address the color or surgical excision to remove the hemangioma in its entirety. This typically is performed after the hemangioma has had some time to grow smaller, but during early childhood to prevent noticeability of the hemangioma by peers at school. Our vascular anomalies team looks forward to learning more about your child and providing options for treatment of their hemangioma. We aim to provide a personalized treatment plan to address all of their needs.